and it shall come to pass in the last days God declares that I will pour out my spirit upon all mankind and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy telling forth the divine counsels and your young men shall see visions and your old men shall dream dreams yes and on my men servants and on my maid servants in those days I will pour out of my spirit and they shall prophesy and I will show wonders in the sky above and signs on the earth beneath blood and fire and smoking vapor in February 2005 I had a prophetic encounter at 1122 in the evening I was awakened by the blast of a trumpet two angels with silver trumpets were blowing in my face I was like a dead man I couldn't open my eyes. I was stricken with fear. The angel on my left was blowing a trumpet in my left ear. The angel on my right was blowing in my right ear. It was like a hot wind that went into my spirit, went down into my spirit man. Immediately I found myself being lifted off of the bed, lifted through the roof, lifted into the heavens and came to rest in a place called the room of intercession in the room of intercession there was incredible worship incredible intercession going on over the nations and i heard this beautiful praise coming out of my mouth lord you are so holy you are so beautiful you are so lovely you are so awesome you are the great God. This worship was coming out of my mouth. And as I listened to myself speaking, I noticed there was another voice. There were two voices. One was mine, and one was the voice of the Lord. Harmoniously, together, proclaiming the goodness of the Lord. That prophetic encounter served as an indicator into marked release of miracles and healings and increase in signs and wonders in the ministry. Acts chapter 2 verse 19 says, And I will show wonders in the sky above and signs on the earth beneath. Father, I pray now for a release. I pray now for a release of wonders in the sky above and signs on the earth beneath beneath. Father, I pray that you would begin to move and release miracles, healings, signs, and wonders in your people, in your body now. Release them now, Lord. Isaiah chapter 8, verse 18 says, Lord, I and the people that you have given me have become a sign and a wonder in the earth. We are signs and wonders in the earth. So release us now. I pray for a fresh release of miracles, healings, signs, and wonders, and that you would cause your people to come into the place of understanding that we are heirs. And because we are heirs, we are sons of the kingdom of God. According to Galatians chapter 4, we are heirs of the kingdom, and all things belong to us. You are raising up a triumphant, overcoming body of believers that have the stamp, the DNA of God within their bodies. God, you are looking for sons and daughters who will grow up and take their places. They are not afraid to show forth the power of God. Lord, look upon your servants now. Observe their threats and grant to your servants full freedom to declare your message fearlessly while you stretch out your hand to cure and to perform signs and wonders through the authority and by the power of your holy child and servant, Jesus Christ. Do it, Lord, with great strength and ability and power. 
with great strength and ability and power, the apostles delivered their testimony to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus. And great grace was upon them all. Do it, Lord. Pour out your spirit. Pour out signs and wonders upon this generation, upon this overcoming remnant, this body of believers that you're raising up. Lord, put your stamp on us. Several months ago, I was preparing for a meeting. And as I was in the spirit, the Lord came to me and he took me by the hand and he led me to a storehouse in heaven. In that storehouse were all the mantles of those that have gone on before. As I looked, I saw Elijah and I saw the mantle and I saw what he wore and and I saw Enoch and I saw some of the other mantles of some of the great men and women of God that have gone on before. And the Lord looked at me and he said, choose, I'll give it to you. And I said, Lord, you know. And immediately I had a mortal and a pestle in my hand. And the Lord handed me three pills and he put them in the bowl. And he said, grind them. And as I was grinding these three pills, the Lord said, these three pills are the past, the present, and the future. Signs, wonders, miracles, the release, the culmination of all things. Jesus, I want the culmination of all things. I want the mixture. The culmination of all things is at hand. In these last days, one great end time gathering coming. So Lord, give us power, ability, strength, miracles, healings, signs, wonders, culminating of anointings. To be able to bring in the end time gathering this harvest that's coming in lord do it lord we need it we need your strength we need your power we need revelation we need transformation fresh understanding of who we are in you pull back the blinders that have kept us in places of not understanding Create for yourself a people who have understanding of the times and the seasons that we're entering into. 